Hey there, welcome back. In this lecture, you are going to learn a bit more about jQuery selectors and where to look when you need some details about them. First off, I want to say that I personally only remember basic selectors that I use on a daily basis. It is totally normal and fine to not be able to remember all of them. This is why you have the documentation available at all times. Ok, let's go to the browser and try to search jQuery selectors. See what we can find. So, let's go into the first link. It's not the official one. It's a very popular website. I think you already know about it. w3schools.com It has all of the selectors and what they basically do. This is what we're going to use to search for selectors that we need in order to scrape some parts of the website. Also, I will make sure to leave this link in the resources tab in this course so that you can easily access it. Alright, now let's get going and start the actual scraping. Let's go to our movie, resize it a little bit and open the dev tools like we always do. Alright, now that we have the movie open, our editor open and our dev tools opened, we can start to actually scrape. And I wanna tell you that this is the first time that I'm writing this code and what we're about to do and that we may have mistakes and we will solve them. I'm doing it like this because I want you to see how I'm working and the process behind it. So let's get going. First, we have the title and the movie rating. Let's say we want to get the movie poster. What I'm going to do now is go to the movie poster and click on inspect element. I want to see if there is something unique that I can handle on about this poster, such as an ID or a class name specific that is not repeating again, or just find a selector. So the first thing that pops into my head is that we see this div with the class name of poster. We can get this very easily and then access the A element and then the image within it. First, let's go to the console right here, clear everything. And because this website already has jQuery implemented, we can actually check the jQuery code that we are going to write directly in the console. If the website doesn't have jQuery, you can inject it and also check it in the console directly to see if the selectors that you're trying to use are working. I will show you how to inject the jQuery library a bit later on. And just a quick thing before we start, uh, if you don't see this tab with the console, you can easily click on escape and toggle between them on and off, just like this. Alright, let's actually write the code for this image selector. We want to select the div with the class name of poster and then select the child within it that is an A tag and then select the first image from the child of the A tag which is the image. We can actually close it and check out what we get. Hit enter. Ok, so it seems that it's working. We can expand this element and check it out. We have an image, alright, alright, so it seems like this selector is working. Let's click on the up key, up arrow key on the keyboard and this will show us exactly what we had written before. Right now that we have a proper and working selector, we need to actually choose the source of the image to get the actual link of this image. How do we do that? For this example, I want to quickly show you how easy it is to find this information on Google. So, let's open a new tab and let's write what comes into your head. jQuery get attribute from element. Alright, it pops up in the first result and we can just go to the documentation and see how we can use it. It says right here in the description part that it gets the value of an attribute for the first element in the set of matched elements. 
So what this means is that we can use the attribute function and give into the parentheses the exact attribute name that we want to select. In our case, it will be source, src. All right, let's try this quickly, attribute, and then src, enter, and voila. It gives us exactly what we need, the link of the image. Okay, let's put this code to the test in our editor as well. Copy this and let's make a new variable right here. Let poster equal. This should work exactly the same. So if we're logging right now the title, the rating, we want to add the poster as well. And let's remove the breakpoint because we don't need it anymore and let's go to the debug part and run it. The silence of the lambs, 8.6 and then we have the link. All right, this already starts to look good. But quickly something that bothers me is that it also gets the white text including in the title of the movie. We can simply remove that by writing dot trim and this will remove the white space between the text. Let's give it another try and see if this is properly showing up. Perfect, nice, let's continue. Let us see what we should get up next. Okay, so we have the title, the poster and the rating. Let's actually get how many ratings there are for this movie. Let's right click on this part and inspect element. What I can directly see that it is an link, an ahref link with another tag of span with the class small. Nothing actually of value. We need to go a bit up more. Right now we have the rating value that we just got. And also we have a div with the class name of Internet Movie Database Rating. I think we can check this and latch onto it and then get the ahref link and then get the text inside of it. How do we do this? Let's clear the console and start writing the code. Okay, I want to get the div with the class of imdb rating. And I want to get the child, which is the a tag, and then we can get the span tag and we can then get the text just like this. But there is a simpler way. We don't actually need to write the span because it will get the text inside of the A tag, which only has this one. So in this case, it is not a problem if we write it like this. And let's give it a go, hit enter, and let's see if it works. And I already see that it does. It's the exact number that we have right here. All right, let's quickly implement this also. Open the editor and make another variable, total ratings, paste. We can quickly test it, but I know it will work also. Total ratings. Perfect, we have the number right here. All right, let's move on. Let's try and get the release date of the movie, which is right here. Okay, inspect element and inspect again. Let's see what we have of use right here. This is an A tag with the title, see more release dates. All right, something more useful. This is the subtext with all this text right here. We have the time of the movie the genres, we will also get this. And then we have a ghost which separates the genres from the movie release date. And yeah, it's unfortunate that we don't have anything more suggestive, but I think we can use the title of this ahref tag. Let's see if it works. Let me quickly test it. I want to get the a tag with the title that is exactly equal to see more release dates. And I want to get the text inside of it.
and shit it doesn't work but I actually made a typo right here release dates I only wrote a date let's try it again perfect it actually works and we can easily add this to our Visual Studio editor and use it in our code let's copy this and make notice of this it's actually this text but we also have a white space we can clear this easily with the trim function that we previously used okay let release date equal paste and then trim and also let's make the console log a bit more suggestive and write it like this title and then the title let's close it up and copy these console logs and paste them rating poster total ratings release date paste this right here and remove this all right let's test it out quickly and indeed it works and we have the title the rating the poster the total ratings and the release date this is starting to look pretty nice let's try something a bit more hard let's try and get all the genres of the movie but in a array so not as text we want actually to have an array with crime, drama and thriller. Alright, how do we do this? Let's inspect and check it out. As I'm looking right here, I can already see something that I like. All the links to the genre specific, for example thriller, have in common a genre link. So this prefix genre is present right here in the drama and also in the crime. We can actually latch onto that and select all the links that have the prefix of the href tag genre. We can try it out and see if it works and if it works it's nice but if it's not working and we are actually getting more links that we need because it can be multiple links with these types of uh, genre prefix on this page then we will need to figure out something else. Alright, first let's do this clear out the console and start writing the code we want to get all the a tags that contain href which is equal to genre but the thing is that we don't want them to be equal to genre we want them to start with the prefix of genre how do we do this First, let's go to the jQuery selectors tab that we previously opened and let's search for the starting keyword. All right, we have something right here. All elements with the title attribute value starting with Tom. This is what we need. We just need to add this sign in front of our equal sign and then it will get all the elements that are starting with the genre prefix let's add it right here and then close it and get all the text just for testing purposes hit enter what happened right here is that all the ahref elements that start with the genre prefix we got all the text from them and we put it into a string that's why you see it right here like this this means it does not work properly and other elements other than these that we saw right here are using the ahref with the genre prefix right now we need to narrow down the search and try to select only the links within a specific parameter more exactly within these divs right here we can easily add this selector so that we can refine our search in order to get only the links within this parameter all right how do we do this exactly let's clear out the console 
right in front of our selector, we need to add the div selector for the class of title wrapper. div class equal title underscore wrapper and close it up and then this basically means that we want to select all the ahref elements that start with genre that are contained within this class and let's test it out hit enter and of course we have an empty string that means the selector didn't work properly why is that this is because we try to access all the ahref elements that are a direct child within the div that is with the class name of title wrapper and as you can see the ahrefs are not a direct child of this div we need to remove this this means that it searches all throughout the div inside of it and not search for a specific child directly within it let's give it a try hit enter and there you go crime drama and thriller perfect for the moment this means that our selector is working and we receive everything that we need but how do we actually put this into an array instead of using the text function we are going to use the each function which is going to iterate through all of the selectors that it's found and by the way you can check the documentation for cheerio on the github and yeah i will link it again on the resources for this course let's try it again but instead of text we write the each function that gets two parameters one is the index and the other one is the actual element we are going to make use of this close it and now that we made this we first want to create an array named genres for example and initiate it as an empty array and right here we want to access the specific element and get their text and insert it into the genres array we can easily do this by making it like this genre equal access the element and then the text inside it after this we can simply push it to the array genres.push genre and then of course let's console.log it genres perfect it looks pretty nice already we have the array with crime drama and thriller right now let's add the code to our scraper and test it out if it works there also let's copy this and just paste it right here and then let's console log it genres and run it again and it seems that we have a problem let's see what it says syntax error malformed attribute selector href genre okay let's see what's the problem a href all right and indeed my mistake we needed to copy this also we forgot to close this let's try and run it again all right now as you can see it works properly we have crime drama and thriller parsed looks pretty nice and I think that will be it for this part of the video because it's getting already pretty long. Let's take a quick break and let's get back in the next video.